Hey everyone, it's Amy, and I have another Neo Geo package today. As you can see though, it is really small and really, really skinny. I didn't have a very big order, so this probably won't be as long as my other past Neo Geo hauls. So here it is opened up, and as you can see here, I really did not order a ton of things, um, but I really wanted to just say how I love that they anchored everything down with tape, so nothing would move around, nothing is free floating. And that is just really, really nice. I love that they do that. So yeah, I am going to start uh, cutting things out and I'm also going to be removing uh, my name tags off of all the items. All right, so this is basically it. And yeah, like I said, there's not a lot, but it's basically all Astro. I think there's one twice card in here. Everything is Astro. I was able to finish my MJ collection and start my bin collection. So I was thinking that maybe after I kind of go through everything, I can also put them away in my little uh, mini or A5 B on D binder. That is what I've been using to store um, my Astro collection so far. So let's just go ahead and kind of go through everything. I honestly don't know what's in here. It's really small. So um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting a little nervous because I'm like, did I order the wrong thing or what? Like, what is this? Oh, it's the little message card. Oh my God, I am so stupid. Okay, so one and only comes with message cards and I got MJ's so this is so adorable yeah okay so there's his name right there I don't know why for some reason in my head I thought that they were bigger I, I was actually really worried that they weren't going to fit in my um, four pockets that I use in my mini binder but okay <laughs> This is already off to a great start, but yeah, I, I feel really dumb. I thought that they were much bigger, but I love how dainty and cute this is. So, okay, now on to the next one. So here are more MJ cards. Uh, let's see, we've got Autumn Story, and this is the orange version. So yeah, like I said, we're basically completing MJ today. It feels so good. Um, and by finishing, I mean his Korean album inclusions or photo cards rather. But yeah, basically, um, I have just been focusing on MJ's uh, Korean album photo cards. So this is the one for Summer Vibes. And this was the last one that I was missing. And I also have this MJ card. And let's see if I can through this tape without having to cut it. Okay. So yes, this is the Dream Part 2 card and I already have the other one where I think he's holding a book. So yeah, this was the one that I was missing. And I know I said album inclusions, but I honestly like could not resist. <laughs> I'm such a clown. So I really couldn't resist these ones from their season's greetings. And I love the theme of their season's greetings. Um, but the thing is like, I guess they have two different season's greetings each year, like two different boxes with different contents in them. So yeah, I just decided uh, to go ahead and just get a bias line, which is MJ and then Unu and then Bin. So. I don't know, I just think that they're really adorable. Now these are kind of big though. Let me compare it to a standard photo card. So yeah, definitely um, quite a bit of a size difference. So I'll probably need to use bigger pockets for these. But yeah, so here are Venu's cards. And Ben, Ben is so cute. I love his with the, what is that? Like a sweatband <laughs> on his forehead. So that is adorable. Next up, I have a special card here. This was a, more of like a limited card for Dream Part 2. So there's two of them, and one of them I found for a pretty good price on Mercari USA. And then, yeah, as um, you can see here, this is the one from Mercari Japan. So this little set is complete. It makes me very happy. And then 
uh, we have this little card here that was for their line friends. I want to say, or it says line play. Um, and I think this was part of, I want to say summer vibes. So I really wasn't sure if I was going to collect this and I don't even think I made room in my binder for it yet, but it's cute and it's MJ's. So yeah, I just figured, I mean, it was a pretty good price. So I just went ahead and went for it. But all right, so now let's see, we have this Polaroid. This is the Polaroid for Rise Up. Please focus, ah. But um, I actually have quite a few other things as well from Rise Up. And this is actually my favorite album concept as well. So let me grab the other ones that I have here for Rise Up. Okay, so this is the other photo card. And I actually, I think I did a trade, that's right, I did a trade with someone on Instagram who lives in the U.S. Um, for his other photo card. So this is the actual album photo card. And it has like his writing on the back. And then the other one that I got from an Instagram trader, that one uh, looks kind of like a little boarding pass on the back, which is super cute. But this came as a set and it had the other Polaroid. So yeah, so now I've got both of them. Which makes me very happy. They're so cute. Um, and then it also has this, um, it's like a clear card, I guess. There's like a clear card. Um, I have no plans to really collect these, but it came as a set, so, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Ooh, I can always reuse this cardboard for trades. Trying to trade bigger inclusions is always kind of a pain sometimes when you don't have anything sturdy to mail with. Okay, so this is more of like a random set really that someone was selling all together. So this is actually his photo card that I was missing from Dream Part 1. It's the one with like the empty bottles. Oh my gosh, this camera, please, <laughs> please work. But yes, like I was saying or trying to show you, this has like a little empty bottle on the corner. So yeah, um, I already have the one that has like the full bottle. And then this is actually um, one of his postcards from Blue Flame. Again, I don't uh, try to collect these, but it came as part of the set. And I think this might be, I don't know, is this like the bookmark, I wanna say? I wasn't intending to, to uh, collect these either. Wow, I actually, <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking that some of these inclusions are a lot bigger than they actually are, but they're smaller than I um, thought, so. That's actually really cute. I actually might store that in my binder. Um, and then this, oh, this is just a piece of cardboard. Okay. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying earlier, I am starting my bin collection. And it's just going to take me a lot longer, I think, to actually complete his, mainly because of pricing and availability and, you know, things like that. And I want to collect Unu as well, but <laughs> he's like even more complicated to collect, so I look away for now. But anyways, so this seller had the set of three from Autumn Story. So we have both of the orange backs and then one of the red backs, so I just need one more red one. So yes, they are so cute, and we always love it when a seller puts everything in a set. It's just uh, such a better deal, so I'm very, very happy with that. And then we have his All Light set, which it's not all of them. Um, I want to say it's all but two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yeah, I think there's eight cards total with that album. So... I will say that All Light definitely has some of my favorite concepts as well. Uh, Rise Up and All Light is probably my favorite, I want to say. Um, everybody just looks like so beautiful and ethereal and they just, oh, they just did such a good job, I think, with having everything be like in nature. Yeah, I just, I just really, really love it a lot. So um, with All Light, there's four photo cards for the green version. Did I even show the green one? Yeah the green and then as you can see here these are the white backs so um i'm missing two like i said and i reached out to someone on instagram to sell me some but they i don't think they ever read my dm <laughs> so i don't know i don't know what's going on with that but yeah so i really really love this pink hair too 
think it was really cute. Um, I always prefer black hair on idols mostly, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. He looks very, very nice. All right, and then finally, like I said, <laughs> I have one twice card. So my friend uh, DM'd me and they were like, hey, um, I know that you're collecting OT9 for the Ring Pop set for twice. And they found this really good deal on Mercari Japan and they sent me the link. I'm super grateful for that. Um, but yeah, so I ended up putting a buy request in and it got accepted like immediately, which was amazing. So yeah, I have Mina's Ring Pop photo card from Fancy. It is so cute. But yeah, I will not be storing this in today's video. I'll just save it for a future uh, binder sorting video instead. All right, so here's an overview of everything that I just opened up. And then um, in the next clip, I will be putting it all away in my binder. Okay, so I've got everything laid out. And at first, I really wasn't going to do this, but I was looking things over. And this binder is already starting to get pretty thick with just MJ stuff and I was counting how many other pages there were where I had Ben and Uno's stuff in here as well. And yeah, it's just really starting to add to the bulk. So I think I'm also today going to start Ben's binder and I will also combine Uno's stuff in here just for the time being. I mean, like in a perfect world, it would be really nice if all three of them could have their own binders but because Ben and Uno's collection is so small right now it just doesn't make sense for me to split those two up yet so I'll probably put both of them in here and then MJ will just have his own binder because technically we should be completing his entire Korean album collection today so it'll just be really nice and satisfying to have his binder be completed so I already have some things uh, separated from the Neokio haul and yeah, we're just going to start out with um, MJ's binder and I'll talk a little bit more about the materials that I'm using uh, when I set up Bin's binder, but it's basically the same as this one. This binder is from Beyond D but I purchased it from mochithings.com uh, because I'm in the U.S. and it's just a little bit harder to obtain uh, this product. Um, I know a lot of other people will join Goes like on Instagram or Twitter just so that, um, you know, the cost is greatly reduced. But yeah, um, I just bought mine off of Mochi Things. So anyways, let's start out with um, <laughs> this little tray first. So yeah, we have the last spring up card that I needed. Yay! Oh, it's so nice to see that <laughs> completed there. So I'm actually, while we're here, I'm going to remove this page. That will go in the other one, in the other binder. Now I have MJ's Autumn Story orange version. Whoops, oh, I forgot I had a filler in here. But anyways, um, these pockets are by Beyond D. And oh dear, looks like I... I messed that up when I closed it. But yeah, the pockets are by Beyond D and they actually came with the binder as a set, but um, I bought refills as well. So um, they don't fit standard dragon shields though, so I have to use smaller ones. Okay, this is fine. This bin needs to come out. So now I get to put in this card. From Dream Part 1. This is how I'm doing it. Hmm. I kind of want to maybe put... See how there's like the full bottles and these two are empty. I might switch... Switch it around. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do that. And then a dream part two. So we've got that one. Yay. <laughs> okay. And then, all right, here's where I really wasn't quite sure what to do because these Polaroids belong to dream part two, but there's no other cards for me to really put down here. So 
I don't know if this is going to be weird. I think I'm going to put the Summer Vibes uh, line play card over here for now. I don't know. Like, I just really don't know where to put it. It is just a really, you know, it's kind of just more awkward because it doesn't really match any of the other cards. But it needs a spot, you know. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'll take one of these fillers and just pop it in here. Okay, now what is this? Dream Part 2 Limited. So yeah, goes with that one. Very happy to have those. I was really worried I wasn't going to be able to find these ones. They're just so much harder to find in general. Alright, now we have the rest of Rise Up. So this is um, the one that we just hauled. And the other photo card is the one that I was talking about, how it kind of looks like a boarding pass. It's really, really cute. Okay, and then we have the two Polaroids. So, I don't know. I think I'll do this. And in case you're wondering, I did already do a full setup video um, for this binder. And I went a lot more in depth about the type of pockets and materials and sleeves and like everything. So definitely check that out if you have any questions because I will, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I answered everything that I already think you'll probably ask <laughs> um, in that video and I provided links to everything. So I realized I just sort of skimmed through. I'll do like a little flip through after this, but we don't have anything for All Light and Blue Flame, but we do have one and only. So yeah, it's just basically the message cards and I decided to split up the message card from the little envelope. That way I can fill in this four pocket. <laughs> How cute though. Oh gosh, there we go. So there's that page. Let's see, skip blue flame. We need to remove Uno and Ben's page here. And now we have all yours. I think I completed his stuff. Yeah, I have a lot more of his uh, pre-order benefits coming. So, okay, we are going to remove all of this to go in the other binder. Right? Yeah, there's MJ, so I need to remove this too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, my scar looks really angry today. <laughs> I don't know why I just pointed that out. I don't know. I had stitches in my arm a couple years ago and it just scarred really badly. So <laughs> some days it just looks angry. All right, let's see here. I think that's right. And then, gosh, I need to remove this card because it's Onu's message card. And do I have like a blank? Here we go. I'll do that. Okay. Whoops, whoops, whoops. No, 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 no. Why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> um, these all need to go as well. Yeah. Right? That's right, yeah. Oh gosh, I forgot about this little bookmark uh, from Blue Flame, so I'll get to that in a second. But okay, let me put this in real quick while I'm over here. So yeah, we've got um, the ones from Season's Greetings. I'm just going to put MJ's in here. And the pockets that I'm using here are different than the previous ones that were in this book. So uh, these ones are by Beyond D and they're smaller and they basically require you to use smaller sleeves and the ones that I use are the Japanese size ones. But um, over here I have a different one by the Amifa brand. Let me show you. You've probably seen this before um, on my channel. This is by Amifa, and they do fit standard larger um, dragon shields, the ones that I normally use in my larger binders. So yeah, it'll fit these, no problem. So I am going to use it for the Season's Greetings cards just because they are huge. 
Okay. There's that. And I don't normally want to store these bigger inclusions, but we're gonna put his blue flame card in there as well. Now I need to rearrange this a little bit. Sorry if this is boring. <laughs> um, I wanna put bins in his binder. So I will move MJ to the front like that. This is from um, the pre-order benefit for all yours for their fan club. And then there's two of these pages. Honestly, I might move one over to the other binder. All right, let's go back to this empty spot. <laughs> this is sort of like become the hodgepodge page, but we're gonna put that little bookmark that I was talking about over here. And then that way, we have a complete four pocket page. Okay, so before um, we move on to Ben's binder setup, um, I'll go through MJ's. I think this is completed though. <laughs> Holy shit, like I was not expecting to complete it this fast, but I'm very happy with the progress that I made. So yeah, this is all of his Korean album stuff, and uh, um, like I said, I just have like some pre-order benefits coming. I don't know how much further I'm gonna go with collecting their stuff in terms of non-album inclusions. I mean, I did sign up for their fifth uh, fan club recruitment, so obviously, you know, I'll I'll be storing those photo cards. But um, yeah, we'll just see how things go. And um, like I said, pre-order benefits are on the way, his message cards, and yeah, that is it <laughs> for completing MJ's uh, Korean album stuff. Okay, and then let's go on to the other binder. Okay, I think I have everything sort of separated on how I want, want to do this. I don't know, um, I'm being a little chaotic about it. So let me go ahead and just open up this new one. And like I said, um, I've already done a binder setup video and talked about everything that I use, but I'll still link to the materials that I use today um, because I know it can be a little bit confusing when you're transitioning from like, you know, using a larger binder to an A5 and then pockets and sleeves and things don't fit. But yeah, I am removing this cord or elastic because I don't really need it. All right, so... Let me actually just <laughs> remove all of these. Okay, and I'm actually, uh, wait, no, not this one. <laughs> we'll do Bunu first. I've got his little section. And then we will put Bin's section in here. Okay, so basically I just split up where we have Unu's stuff um, back here and he just has such a small amount that yeah, he's just going to go um, in the back for now because I am mainly going to be focusing on Bin. Alright, so let's see. This is his winter dream card. So I need to actually add one page here to the front. So this is going to be for Autumn's story, and I have uh, the orange and the red ones. And then red. All we've got and I'm not actually going to go through and set up full pages with like fillers and stuff yet uh, because today I really just want to be putting in the new photo cards that I hauled from Neokyo so um, yeah here's the winter dream and now we need to go into what is it with flame oh all light
start out with the green ones. Put the one with the dark green back up here. And then the two lighter ones. And then the one with the white backs. So these three, let's see. Um, am I doing signatures at the top? Okay, so we'll do the signature back ones um, here. And this one down here. Okay, looks good. So that's it for his photo cards. And I just went ahead and I uh, set up Blue Flame and Gateway in here. Uh, we've got the All Yours um, album inclusions and some pre-order benefits, uh, pre-order benefits, and his message card, and then getting into Uno's section. <laughs> it's very sparse, not a whole lot going on. And then here's like a random section. Um, let's see though, I actually need to put Uno's message cards um, in here, so let me grab a page. So yeah, I am just missing his red card, so um, I'll just leave a blank spot there for his red message card. It's just been a really low priority item for me, so that's why um, I haven't been like <laughs> hauling it yet and I really don't want to buy it. I mean, I don't want to buy a message card, you know? So anyways, <laughs> all right. And then, um, I'm just going to put in these cards. I'm just going to combine both of them together because I think it'll look really cute in a four pocket. And I also have the, uh, fan club stuff from earlier and I just want to put that back here. Oh, and I need to put a two pocket in here as well. These two pockets are also by Beyond D, uh, which I got off of mochithings.com. So let me put that in here. I just like to put bigger inclusions in general in the back. It doesn't really matter what member it is. Um, I just don't like the bulk sometimes it creates, but luckily these are actually pretty thin, so. And they fit so perfectly in these pockets. I'm so happy about that. Okay, now we can do the season's greeting stuff. So, uh, da, 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 da. we'll do, that, do it like this. So glad that the Amifa brands actually fit so well. But unfortunately, um, these cards won't fit into Dragon Shields, the standard ones, so it's all right. Let's see, how do I want to do this? They both have their hands up that. I just love these cards. I think they're so cute and they're so colorful, like I just couldn't resist. So yeah, okay. I know that this setup probably wasn't quite as exciting because there's so many gaps, but it actually makes it feel a bit more real that I actually am starting up his collection, you know? So I'm very pleased with um, at least getting a little jump start on it. Um, but I will definitely be up, you know, for more buying and trading, especially on Instagram. So if you have any, uh, let me know, <laughs> add me on Instagram if you want. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. And I'll put in, ah, what is this black fuzzy thing? <laughs> I'll put in fillers, uh, later on, but yes, that is it. Oh, but actually... I completely forgot until now to put in the cover page. <laughs> so this is also something that I ordered off of Mochi Things. Um, this is just some pink grid paper. And I just really want to have a little cover page, just like MJ's. It'd be really cute too to put like a Polaroid of his right there. Um, and then I'm actually putting one in the back as well. There we go. <laughs> so there's that, but we also need to put something here in the front. 
Okay, so here's his little freebie card. So let's see how this looks. <laughs> oh, cute. I actually really like that. So we'll go ahead and put them here side by side. I think eventually I'll also decorate it with some uh, little stickers. I think that'll be super cute. But that is it for this video. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too long-winded and that you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you in my next one. Bye!